Okay, let's see how I can use the edge extrusion. Uh, I have two ways to do that. It's a manual way and automatic way. So let's see the first the manual way to do it. So if I have here these edges and I need to extrude this edge and first thing I'm gonna do is holding the A key and inserting a couple of edges around it and I'm going to control how much I need for a scale of the extrusion. So I'm going to do that manually, like that, and I'm going to select the middle edge, make sure you just uncheck the constraint move, and click on the three edges, let's increase this maybe 45, and hold the center edge it and scale so if you just go to the sub mode so you're gonna see this nice extrusion okay so this is for the first method to do the edge extrusion and it's the manual way let's get into the automatic way and let's see it on this edge here I can do it I can do that by going to the chamfer tool I have here in the futures, it's called chamfer. Once I just click it, I can control the magnitude of the edge, as you see here. So let's say I'm going to choose it at 8 and press OK. And the last thing I'm going to do to complete the extrusion is inserting a center edge or the middle edge between them and select the three edges like that and extrude just crease them first pick the center edge and scale a little now if I get to the sub mode again you're gonna see that I just extruded this edge However, I can control by using one of these arrows that's from the side and that's from the front and back. Let's say I just want to make a manual extrusion by drawing lines or inserting the edges. Let's say I'm going to draw something like that. From here, here, here. Okay, I'm gonna connect these together. And I need to crease this edge to make an extrusion for it. I need this angle to be extruded. Okay, so let's Use the chamfer again, control how much I need, maybe 10. And you got some issues here. You have to connect these points. I'm gonna use this point with this one and merge. And again here. Okay. And I'm going to insert an edge on the center. Let me pick all of these edges now. Just make sure this is connected and choose these edges. Now let's make it about 45 again, or 46 and pick the center edge except the last one so I'm gonna use select these like that okay 
now moving a little inside. After that, I can insert this edge here and connect this. This one is 46 creased. Let's make 45 and crease one. Okay. Now, once I get the subdi mode, so you're gonna see that I just created an extrusion manually like that. I can crease this a little. Just to make it a little smoother. Let me pick this point and try to move it. Okay, I can make the crease about 20 or something. So oh, that's pretty much better. I can make a contour around it, like this. inside Using the HDRI helping you a lot to avoid the surface bends and distortions. You can also use an edge extrusion here. Make this flatter. Check the constraint move and you got this nice edge. Go to chamfer. We at level 4, insert an edge, crease, and uncheck constraint move, scale. 